What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. The video that I am replying to with this video has its link down there in the description box. And I'm not going to include in my video all of that video because it's utterly pointless. Um, the original video explains correctly most of the time general relativity. So if you're interested in what I have left out, you can always go and look at that video. But people still ask where the force of gravity comes from. If something is accelerating, that requires a force. So gravity must be a force, right? Yes, if a mass is being accelerated, it is being accelerated by a force. It's not. It's not? Yes, it is. Isaac Newton described it as a force, but today we say that when something falls and accelerates, no force is making it do that. We say that. We say that the force of gravity is not making things fall in a gravity well. Yes, it is. Even more counterintuitive, the acceleration of gravity is actually upward. Okay, I give up. Here's an image of one part of the universe. Please, point to the direction of up. Oy, they. It's not downward. Okay, I give up again. Which direction is downward? Which direction in this image is upward? And which direction in this image is downward? Good bloody gods. But now suppose that we fire up an engine and begin to accelerate in one direction. From inside our spaceship, now things have changed. We can tell that we are no longer in an inertial reference frame. If we release an object, it begins to move as if a force is acting on it. It accelerates. But no such force actually exists. Use, Use the, force the force on the, on the rocket. rocket. The object is just floating freely, and the spaceship is speeding up around it. And it is doing so with a force. One of Einstein's brilliant realizations is that you cannot distinguish between being accelerated in one direction and being under the influence of gravity. From inside an elevator car, you couldn't tell whether it's sitting on the surface of the Earth or in deep space and being accelerated in the direction of the ceiling by 9.8 meters per second squared. Albert Einstein's principle of equivalency is not prescriptive, it is descriptive. It is not how reality works, it is how reality is perceived different things entirely. The planet Earth is not accelerating upward. What direction again is up? Einstein realized that rather than gravity being a force acting at a distance that accelerates freely moving objects downward, we have to say that instead, gravity puts us in a non-inertial accelerated reference frame. And we have to say that the surface is what's being accelerated upward. No, Albert Einstein did not realize that. And we do not have to say Earth is accelerating upward. Descriptive, not prescriptive. Different. Different. The planets are not going upward. <laughs> The universe is not accelerating upward. When you were sitting in a chair, you were quite literally being accelerated upward. Okay, now what, bitch? Which direction is up? If one person is sitting in one chair and being accelerated upward, and the other person is sitting in the other chair and also being accelerated upward. 
But you might be saying, acceleration is a change in velocity, and we aren't speeding up. But speeding up along a straight line is only the most familiar form of acceleration. If you swing a ball in a circular manner, you're constantly accelerating it toward the center of the circle. No! Not towards the center of the circle! Away from the center of the circle! Ah! Similarly, when we're standing on the earth, the ground is pushing us up with a real force. The ground is shoving us upward. Name the source of the force that is shoving the ground upward. Show me the fucking rocket engines on the rim of the flat planet Earth shoving the disk upward. Is that why you're not allowed to visit Antarctica? You might see the fucking rocket engines. Is that it? Name the force. Name the force that is shoving planet Earth and the entire solar system upward. And if that force is removed, our body goes from being accelerated to moving inertially. Our body? Not my body. My body does not do that when I am standing on the planet Earth. I am at rest relative to the planet Earth. If I step into a really deep hole, I am accelerated. You know what is causing the acceleration? It's called the force of gravity. And then in that now inertial reference frame, we see the Earth accelerating upwards. I have some Zen questions for this limited genius. Number one, what is accelerating the planet? Number two, upward? How do you define upward on a planet floating? in space <laughs> please point in the direction of albuquerque and upward everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it <laughs>